Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive. So I'm loving the innovation that the team from resource management are continuing to do with Smartsheet. And at Engage this year, we heard that they're working on phases and being able to track time by phase. Why I got really excited was I knew that that was going to unlock something else which I'm delighted to share today. And that is about being able to track time by task. Because like many things with Smartsheet, if you use some ingenuity and you think about it in a slightly different way, you can come up with some fantastic solutions, which I know many of you do. And this is why I love having this channel and be able to share these things with people. Um, as you know, at Productive, we're all about helping empower people to do more with Smartsheet to get out, get more out of it. Please do get in touch with us if you want some of our help or use these solutions to help you achieve more and be the superhero um, in your organization or the everyday hero rather um, in your organization with Smartsheet. Uh, but yeah, always delighted to hear um, what people are achieving. Please do let us know. Um, but without further ado, let's show what this is all about. So I'm gonna go into resource management and the timesheet I've got up here and in here, what you can see is I've got all clear my time plan and you can see having the time plan here, I've just got one single line for the whole project and this could be multiple tasks. So if we go across to the project, you can actually see this relates to multiple tasks that are happening during this moment in time. So um, I'm allocated for 12 and half percent, which is equivalent of one hour um, to task of um, conduct UAT and also marketing collateral sign off. So, but if I do the timing, well, how much time did I spend on each one? Don't know. This is part of the challenge that people want to know how much time so they can learn from it um, for future use. So that would go back into the time plan and as well, two hours, what, how, where, where is it spent? What the introduction of tracking by phase enables you to do is also have a bit of a hack and do this so you're tracking it by task and how have I done and achieve that. Well, let's show you first the uh, phase and how do you track by phase. So if you want to track by phase, you can insert a new column or you can ask Smartsheet to insert the new column for you. You go in in the same way you would ask to enable resource management by setting up resource management here. And it's asking you which columns do you want to use for what and optional column is phase. So here it's saying, well, which, phase, which column do I want to use and it needs to be a drop down column. So I've inserted a column here called phase and at phase one, two, three is the drop downs, etc. If I click that, then it's gonna start enabling me to track it um, using the phases. Now, okay, so that's useful, but you've got to manually update the phases, etc. Maybe not as useful, um, unless you start having formulas which do that bit, etc. or different ways. Now, what I got more excited about was the fact that I could actually use a formula in this drop down column. It's still a drop down, but there's no values in there. Um, and because I've got a formula, all, all I'm simply doing in this formula is saying, take the task name. So by taking the task name, putting it in the phase, this I can now track the time by task. And this is all set up here. And if you look track time by task, if I go back to the view here, track by time by task. So it still lists the project name, but what comes after it is the task name and you can see I've got task two. I spent four hours on that one and actually I spent three hours on that one. And task three, eight hours, well actually I spent six hours on that one. So now I can actually within a, the same project, so track time by task, that same project, I've got all the options to track the time for those separate line items. Whereas, go back to breathe easy, all clear, well, I don't know, it's two hours, three hours across multiple tasks and you don't really know what's happened. So this is really exciting because say, just coming back to it, it enables that visibility of tracking time by task on individual projects. And you can see now, as I go into this project here, I can have different durations for the tasks and I can now understand actually what was tracked and where people are completing their timesheets in resource management then that information will be collected and using the advanced reporting functionality, this goes back into Smartsheet and it's fantastic. So just coming back here onto the video, I'm really excited about the introduction of phases primarily because I can now track 
time by task. I really hope this is useful for you, along with obviously tracking by phases, if that's what you want to do. For me, it's about this piece, which many people have asked for, and I'm delighted to be able to share this news with you. So look forward to sharing many other things with you in due course. And uh, yeah, more to do with Smartsheet. Enjoy, and let me know other things you might be looking for or how we might be able to help. Bye for now.